Welcome to Globe Arts, I'm Zoe and this is Jackie. We really hope you enjoy our how-to tutorials. I'm going to show you how to create a frottage with a watercolour wash. Okay, so we're going to have a little look at how we can create a frottage. If you're not sure what a frottage is, it's basically a technical term for creating a rubbing of something. So I'm using some plant life. Um, I've got a piece of paper underneath it so I can see um, how to place it. It's a quite a nice idea um, to have it on a piece of paper the same size as the one you're going to frottage from so that you can line up the edges and you know that your result is going to be centered. So covering it over, the paper I'm using is just thin photocopy paper. It's, it's a really good idea to use something really thin and smooth like that rather than a thick heavy paper. You'll get a better result this way. And then using a crayon, just a wax crayon is good. Um, you can use something like um, a, graph, a piece of graphite, but whatever it is you use, use it on its side, not on its point, okay? I've broken this down so it's a little bit more stubby. I've got better control that way. So first of all, I'm just going to feel with my fingers where the plant life is because I'm aiming to get the crayon where the leaves are and to try and avoid getting too much of the background around the leaves um, recorded. And then just gently, to begin with, I'm just finding my way around. I'm just feeling and stroking the crayon over the surface until it starts to show me where that plant is. So quite gentle to begin with. Notice the stems that are more robust and strong and projected upwards. They're the things that record really quickly and are quite heavy in turn. The leaves take a little bit more of a delicate approach. I'm just finding my way Finding the edges. Steady away. Try not to get too much background so that it doesn't dis detract from the actual image of the leaves. And then once you think you've found the drawing, start to work in areas a little heavier. So where those leaves are and we've got the veins, we can push on a little bit firmer and just begin to reveal the flesh of the leaf. Notice that coming through now. So I'm just steadily developing the drawing. It's something you're likely to have done as a child this, but I always think it's a magical experience as an adult. It's, a, it's a just such a lovely, thing to do. Try not to move the plant life underneath so that you don't get that kind of double image. And then once you're happy with what you've recorded, you can remove the plant from underneath, take that to one side and then you've got an option, you can leave it as is or you might consider doing a watercolour wash over the surface. It's really nice to try a contrasting colour so I'm just going to find something that contrasts nicely with the blue so this sort of hot orangey red colour be happy with that so I'm just making sure I'm getting enough of it. Now I need this to be a wash, you're not painting in the drawing, you're just going to wash over so you need a, a kind of broad brush for this as well and then try to go in one direction and it's that lovely magical thing of the wax crayon resisting the watercolour and it just adds another dimension to the painting. And my biggest advice here is not to overwork 
your painting strokes. Don't end up with your paper turning all bobbly and and rucked up. Just be happy with a few strokes. And there you go, that's Frottage with a watercolour resist. <laughs>